Popcorn is hot and Kurt the film guy is back. Good to see you again. All Welcome. tuxedoed up and everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's the latest out there? Well, uh, Daniel Roebuck is one of those guys you've probably seen before, but you don't necessarily know by his name. Yeah. He has a huge resume of films and television shows, most well known for we Were Soldiers, The Fugitive, the first okay. uh, first Final Destination movie. I can only remember him from Lost. He had a uh, small part, you know, of all the passengers characters. Yeah. And I just remember him from that. Um, That's but, the only one of those that I haven't seen. Yeah. So I know I've seen him. Yeah, but you've seen yeah. him. All right. yeah. Well, he goes behind the camera just like a lot of different actors. And his 2018 award-winning film, Getting Grace, is now on Hulu. It's the story of a teenage girl, Grace, who's searching for the meaning of life as hers is about to end. Her cancer treatment is failing and she's, she's choosing uh, to just live her life and not struggle with it. Roebuck there uh, is also in the film because, you know, why not? And uh, she goes to Bill, this is his character, Bill, uh, the funeral director, owner, and she's trying to figure out this, this, the answers in life because she knows that they're, you know, these people are kind of, they know kind of what the afterlife is about, sort of. So, and she brings her friends along. You know, Bill is hiding behind his longtime family business um, as a mean to hide from the world. Okay, so, well, tell me about Grace. Well, Grace, you know, as you could tell from that clip earlier, yeah. uh, she's, you know, she's just a pretty little quirky, quirky little girl with a lot of odd humor to her and a lot about death actually. And she kind of annoys Bill because, you know, she just keeps coming around and, uh, you know, she kind of breaks down these walls that he's kind of holding up in his life. Mm. So. so is this a faith-based film? Yeah, I don't know if you can call this a faith-based film. You know, it's, it's very subtle with this okay. message, but it does have faith in the method, message. Mm -hmm. But you know, she's, she's just trying to find those answers and her friends as well because she's hurting right now and, and she wants to know where she's gonna go next. Mm -hmm. And so she's actually, she's got a couple different friends. She, she meets a minister, she has another man. He's kind of a scientist of sort. And, and she's trying to figure out what's, what's gonna happen sure. to her. So, and you know, it's kind of interesting if you go with the title here, there's kind of two different ways you can take this title, maybe even more. First, getting Grace. Yeah. You gotta understand her, the girl Grace. I get it. And yeah. then sure. the second one, you know, you kind of have to um, earn Grace. You know, you're receiving Grace, the, the verb. And you know, she kind of is the literal definition of her name. Mm -hmm. You know, she is, she's helping this whole community kind of open up and, and find new life in a time when they desperately need it. All right, nice. so what else is out there? Well, the fans of the series will be excited. The final uh, installment, and as we say, the final installment, I don't know, there might be more, of the <laughs> Medea series is oh, out right. on streaming. Yep. Medea family, uh, family funeral business, what is it? Uh, Family Funeral, yeah. and strangely, both of these movies are about death. I'm sorry, I did yeah. not plan that. <laughs> and you were all, all black, black again, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't play yeah, that. Right, so. that's right. Also out is Gloria Bell. Uh, this stars Julianne Moore as a recently divorced middle-aged woman who is hitting the clubbing scene to find a new man. After several disappointing attempts, she meets a man that just so happens to be in a similar situation, played by John Turturro. You know, I'll say that, you know, the movie, it was a lot different than I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't hate it, but uh, there were some odd choices with his character that I did not like. I, I love the actor, wonderful performance. I just didn't care for some of the choices that they made for him. Other people may love it. That's yeah. perfectly fine. Um, also stars Michael Cera, Rita Wilson, Brad Garrett, and a very small part from Sean Astin. If you blink, you will miss him. Oh. You know, I kind of wanted to yell out the Rudy, Rudy, maybe yes. he come, come back yeah. in the film. Those are all fine actors in yes. this. Yes, they are. Big, they are. big film. It was actually, I actually really enjoyed all their chemistry together. Mm. Very good, okay. So, we appreciate you bringing these by. Anything mm -hmm. we need to look for in the near future? Nothing else, not much else. You know, we're coming up soon. Uh, finding, uh, finding Your Feet, the one about the girl with the, um, uh, cystric, cystric fibrosis is coming oh, okay. out. Uh, that'll come up Friday, kind of an odd time. Mm -hmm. um, but that was a really beautiful film. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, one of those tear jerkers. So yeah. get the tear, get the uh, tissues ready. Name of that one is um, what again? 
Finding Your Feet. Finding Your Feet. Okay. All right, very good. Good to well, know. Well, thanks for being here. We do appreciate it, as always. Thank and you. stick around, Ozarks Live will be right back.